Hello and welcome to UkraMedia.com. My name is Sergey Praknevsky and today's daily tip is split method in After Effects. So without any further ado, let's dive right in. All right, so we are in After Effects. And for this example, I'm going to pick up from where we left off at tip number 35. So if you haven't seen that, definitely check it out. Go to ukramediacom slash tip 35. And after you're done watching that, come back to this one here and it'll make a lot more sense. So basically what I've done in tip 35, I showed you how to set up the following. So whatever I type in this text, this text right here will grab the first letter from this text and place it in here in the circle. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So I'm going to say carry. As you can see, it grabs the first letter and puts it in here. Or I can say Elijah or Natalie. So you get the idea. But some of you have been asking how to set it up to where it grabs the first letter from the first word and then the first letter from the second word. So let me show you what I'm talking about. Something like this. As you can see, it does grab the first letter and puts it in here. And then it grabs the first letter of the second word and puts it in there. So let me show you how to set this up. The first thing I want to do is actually explain to you what split method does. So for this example, I have this text here with a bunch of words and then this split method text. So I'm going to alt click on the stopwatch here for the source text. And then next I'm going to pick whip to the source text of my first text layer. So watch what happens. It basically copies it. So I'm going to keep going here. I'm going to say period and then I'll say split method. And inside there, I'm going to do quotation. So watch what happens when I let go. You can see it splits every single character into a separate index. So right now I can call out, let's say index two would be E here. So zero, one, two. So watch this in the square brackets. I'm going to say index two and it's going to show me E. So that's index two. So zero, one, two, or I can do index one. It would be N. So you get the idea. Now watch what happens if I add space in my quotation here. So now instead of splitting each character, it splits each word. So anywhere there is space, it's going to split that into a separate index. So right now, index two would be no longer E, it will be actually the word three here. So zero, one, two. So if I type index two, it means entirely different thing here. So watch this. Now it's going to give us the whole word three. Now let's keep going with this. I'm going to undo what I just did. And so next, instead of adding space in here, I'm going to actually put something else here. So I'm going to do forward slash in here maybe and forward slash in there. And so I'm going to also put my forward slash inside here as well. So basically what's going to happen is going to split basically wherever there is forward slash, it's going to split that into different index. So now one, two would be its own separate index and then three, four would be its own separate index and then five, six and so on. So you get the idea. So let me show you visually what I'm talking about. So watch this. Now I put comma right where my forward slash is. And so now index two would be five and six. So if I call out index two, you can see that it gives us five and six. So now that you know what I'm talking about, let me show you a practical example of this. All right, so now we're going to pick up where we left off from tip 35. And as you can see right now, we're grabbing the first letter from this text in here. But how do we set it up to where it grabs the first letter from the first word and then the first letter from the second word? So let me show you how to do that using split method. So right now I'm going to just call out this text here. As you can see, here's my text. And next I'll keep going. So I'll say period and split that text into two. Okay, wherever there is space, so split that. So it's going to split it. And so now Natalie becomes index zero and then Patrick becomes index one. And so now I'm going to call out index zero, which is Natalie. So I'm going to say zero and it's going to give me Natalie. And then next I'm going to keep going here and I'm going to say period. And then I want character at. And so I want the first index from Natalie. So I want the first character from Natalie. So if I let go, it's going to give me N which is exactly what I'm after for here. So I'm going to select this control C to copy and then I'll add the same thing. So control V to paste. So right now I have, you know, it's grabbing the first letter from Natalie and plus the first letter from Natalie again. So it adds both of them together. But this time, instead of grabbing it from index zero, which is Natalie, I'm going to change that to index one. So now it's going to go to Patrick and grab the first character or the first character from Patrick. And if I let go, you can see things are working quite well. All right, thank you so much for watching this quick tip. I really hope you found it useful. And if you have, make sure you like this video, share it, subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on social media. But until next time, my name is Sergey Praknevsky and this is ukramedia.com.